Blackboard, aka Kuku Shodamon. And today we have a number of things to look at. I need you to come along because it's going to be hot and rough. Ready and goody goody, cool and deadly. <laughs> Now the very first story I'm looking at today in the black pot, aka Kuku Shunemo, is taken from Graphic Online. And of course, this is the national communicator. I read, strategists don't go to IMF. Canada Japan slams NPP strategist for currency depreciation. I read, Mr. Kennedy Oini Japan, a prominent member of the NPP vying for the party's flag bearer position, has voiced his discontent for uh, the government's handling of the local currency. Now, during his campaign tour in Kintampo East on July 16, Mr. Ejapon expressed his dissatisfaction with the depreciation of the city. He revealed that the value of his $40 40 million um, dollars in city equivalent had decreased to 16 million over a period of five months, spanning from March to August 2022. Mm -mm -mm. While Mr. Ejapon refrained from explicitly mentioning names, he alluded to Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia who leads Ghana's economic management team and is also an aspiring NPP flag bearer. Mr. Ejapon remarked that it was peculiar to witness an economic manager seeking budgetary support from the International Monetary Fund and still claim to be a strategist. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mr. Ejapon stressed the significance of conducting a clean campaign during his address, he pledged to address any accusation leveled against him and emphasize the importance of governing the country with common sense. Now, my brother, my sister, I hear so many people say, oh, but they agreed that they were going to have a clean campaign. What is dirty about this campaign? What is dirty about what Kennedy Japan said? You see, in this country, you can never criticize anybody without people saying that you have a problem with the person. This is a very, very subjective nation where people only criticize you if they have a problem with you. Personal problem. You can steal as much as you want. You can be as corrupt as much as you want. Nobody has a problem with you until you start having personal issues. Who took somebody's girlfriend? Who insulted somebody's father or mother or wife? That is when they will talk about your corrupt nature. How will the nation move forward? Only when you would wait until you have personal issues with each other. Before you start looking at the nation first. It's a shame. What Canada Japan has said is nothing but the absolute truth. How can a strategist, a so-called strategist, still maintain that position and that label when he has carried his strategy to the IMF to beg for a loan to run the country? Is that one to a strategist? And many people... Do not see this as common sense. What Canada Japan has said is the absolute truth. You claim to be a strategist. Before you came into power, you were carried shoulder high. And we were told that you were the absolute strat strategist who was coming to change things in this country. We all remember how we were told that you had so much experience from the World Bank. That you had so much experience with finances. We were told that you were the financial whiz kid. You were coming to perform wizardry. You were coming to perform abracadabra. At the end of the day, you have told us exactly and shown us exactly what you are made of. Deception and lies. Baumia is not somebody anybody should take serious. This is a common comedian and a joker. 
my brother, my sister, what Kennedy Japan has said is something that I would have said six million times. So by saying that you want to have a clean campaign, it's all about hiding each other's dirty secrets that even affect the nation. Is that what you mean? Oh, Jesus Christ, have mercy. Hear me now, brethren. A strategist who was touted as such. No wonder Alan's team considered him as what? Um, 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 the, the fake economist or the lying economist. That is what Alan's team calls Baumia. I have told you already, if Baumia wins the next election, I am leaving this country for you. Keep it. Fry it as a chinga and eat it. It's unto you. A man who sat down with Nana Akufuado and they ran down this country with no respect for the indigents of this nation. This is the guy you are going to return to power. Even if I was a madman, I will never endorse this. My brother, my sister, it's not personal. It is the nation first. You sit with a president who has no respect, so arrogant. He wants to fly in every plane that is called chartered. He wants a lot of space because his legs are too long. He's too tall. So he wants an aeroplane that has all the space so he could stretch his long legs. He wants to have an aeroplane that has showers in there so he can have a shower before he lands. He wants to eat all his childish infant... Inf Lord, get up mercy. What is the man? All the foods that he fantasized about when he was a child. His childhood fantasies of foods. He wants to eat all that on the plane. The man who wants to build a cathedral at the point that the country is so much hemorrhaging. He has lost hope in his own common sense. Now he needs God to come and run this country. My God have mercy. This is the guy you want to bring in. Remember when Baumia was running from place to place? From mosque to Catholic church. Begging people to donate money for the building of the cathedral. Is this a serious guy? Canada Japan has said nothing but the truth. And I tell you, Mr. Japan, you have done nothing wrong. All you have said is nothing but the truth. Listen, I do not want to see Canada Japan as president of this nation. Because for me, he cannot run a country from his track record. No, sir, he can't. But I prefer Canada Japan one trillion times to Baumia. I would have a Kennedy and Japan president to a Baumia president, my brother, my sister, because of their track record. One is a pathological liar. He can lie from morning till night. My brother, my sister, yet his religion tells him that lying would send you to hell. No wonder they are already roasting in hell. <laughs> Yabo! Yabo! There's something I need to look at very quickly. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting things are happening in this nation. Very interesting things are happening in the country. My brother, I need you to come along. And let's look at this very, very, very seriously. Ah, ah, ah. Irazina Kupan and Hey! Irazina Kupan. I'm reading this from my joy online and it says man minority demands refund of two million dollars invested in botched Accra sky train project we were going to have a sky train in a country where rail lines are not working people are building houses on rail lines in a country where thieves are stealing rail lines now they want to relocate the lines into the sky so the trains will now fly in the sky. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They invested two million American dollars into that. And it never happened. Minority is asking that the money be refunded. I read. The minority in parliament is demanding a refund of some two million American dollars paid in 2019. As premium to acquire ordinary shares for the development of the Accra Sky Train project. 
The Auditor General in his 2021 report described the transaction as a net liability. This, according to the Auditor General, was executed through the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund's acquisition of 10 ordinary shares in the special proposed vehicle, that's SPV, uh, AI Sky Train Consortium Holdings, valued at the said amount. Speaking to journalists in parliament, Minority Chief Whip and Ranking Member on Roads and Transport Committee, Governor Kwame Agboja, demanded mm -mm -mm, that that amount is paid back into government, Kitty. In our country, the biggest thieves are the politicians. Here, they are the people who never go to jail. The people who go to jail are those who steal the bananas. They are those who steal fowls for Christmas. They are those who steal chicken when Christmas comes. But those who steal the bulk of the country's money, causing a lot of people to visit early graves, they never go to jail. What a paradox. Now, do you all remember the so-called Accra train, whatever sky train? We all remember how it was touted and how the world laughed at us. You have trillions of potholes on your roads. You are not thinking about how you can fix those. Your rail lines have attracted thieves who cut them and sell them at will. Your rail lines have all become silted up that no train can even run on them. The last time I saw a train in Accra was probably 20 years ago. I don't remember seeing a train in Accra. Do we have trains in Accra at all? In fact, when I was in Takra, I saw a train at Kojokrom. And that train, the least said about it, the better. It looked like a truck wobbling on rails my brother my sister in serious countries that are heading towards development or in it already trains are the most important if not one of the most important when it comes to transportation you go to england a bulk of the people are jumping on trains you go to america it's the same story my brother yet in our country we don't even have trains our roads are full of potholes. In fact, you better call them pot wells. They are bigger than holes. They are wells. Yet, we wanted to have a sky train. People came and spoke a lot of gibberish into our ears in the name of engineering and science. The locus operandum of the uh, Y square, which is equivalent to uh, a point of um, um, zero equilibrium, which rises into a point of uh, uh, non fitotum. And we all are confused, yet we are clapping. <laughs> they spent two million American dollars confusing us. Today, the minority is saying, you have confused us enough. Please, can you return the two million? This million, two million, will we ever get it? This is a nation that has politicians who don't think about this nation. They are only thinking about winning the next election. They don't care tearing down each other to win elections. They don't care insulting each other's mothers and fathers to win election. They don't even care killing each other to win elections. But they will never kill each other for the nation to develop. What a nation. To God be the glory. I'm reading this from 3news.com, the most authentic source of news online. And it says, leaked tape. NDC must show Ghanaians how to use IGP to rig elections. And this is Ayangba. I don't know who he is, honestly. But we will find out. The director of communications for the new patriotic party, Richard Ayangba, okay, so he's paid to talk, not paid to make sense. That's what it is. Our so-called communicators are paid to talk, not to make common sense, right? Do you agree with me? Hear me now. 
The director of communications for the new patriotic party, Richard Ayangba, has challenged the new, the National Democratic Congress, NDC, to explain how an inspector general of police can help a political party win elections. The NDC must show Ghanaians how to use an NGP to rig elections. And if it has worked for them, since they appear to believe it, it can be done. Lord God have mercy. Every time this man speaks, I am tempted to bow down my head in shame. But this is supposed to be the director of communications. Then you can tell how much miscommunication is spread. Like a wet blanket on the people. A tape has emerged. Your party is in power. Such a serious tape. Alleging criminality. A tape that has the potential of ruining the peace of this country. And such a flippant is here joking with serious issues. So you see, it's all about propaganda, lies. It's all about winning the next election, telling the people a bag of lies. I'm so ashamed of this guy. What is his name again? Uh, Richard Ayangba. My brother, are you thinking about the nation? Or you are thinking about your own parochial selfish whims and caprices? Do you care about the number of people who die every time elections come? Or your party pays you to talk not to make sense? The more I talk about this, the more my heart beat keeps palpitating. I leave it here. Well, my name is Black Rasta, and of course, my very good friend is in the house. Pink socks wearing dude, and he's certainly, as you know, the modeling newscaster number one. He's here. Mawena, we have some hot things in the news, right? Where yes. are you? I can't even yeah. find you. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. What's in the news? Tell me, man. Um, so quite a number of things. Uh, there are allegations that government has hired the services of land guards to retrieve state lands. The minority is making that claim and is demanding answers uh, from the government agencies who are currently engaged in that activity. We'll get details. And also a bit more details as to some monies are paid for feasibility studies in the botched SkyTrain um, agenda and so those are hotline issues that will be coming up pretty shortly on the news oh my god so these are hotline issues man the pink shirt wearing uh, do this in the house it's going to make sure that you relieve the news my name black rasta when we return we'll get into the african history class and today we're talking about super od